Are you guys ready for some hot Europa League action? Maybe with a little transfer for play on the side? Yeah, you come to the right place. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Did the summer stuff. Um, it's only been because the, the sort of cup final ended on like the 1st of June. So it's only been a month and a bit. Um, we have our Europa League today because obviously it happens very, very, very early. Um, no, I wasn't linked with any jobs, but I'd kind of, unless something actually came up, I was already sort of decided that we were going to go for it in Europe. We have drawn Cork City, the mighty Cork City. Here we go. <clears throat> It's uh, so we've got obviously two legs. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be quite a toughie. Uh, they are currently sitting seventh in the Irish League and they are way better than us. So, yeah, let's take you through transfers and we'll get the first leg done. We've got maybe some others coming in. We've spent actual money. And got some actually really good youngsters. Obviously, with the Europa League, there's rules on foreign players. So we needed to make sure we, we went a bit luxo, a bit more luxo orientated. <clears throat> and we are, But I think we've done some really good work. And it's a couple of really good youngsters. If this was a... I oh, know it's not, but if it was a long-term save, I think there's some really good young players in here. So first off, we have Jerome Colio. I'm going to call Colho. Colho. Don't, don't sound right. From Titus. Uh, Patang. Um, and he's an absolute monster. He's only 18 years old. He's got 10 under 21 caps. He's three and a half star. He's a weird position because he's right footed, but he only plays on the left. So I'm um, converting him. I might try an inverted winger because I don't, haven't really used that before. So that's an option, but also I'm going to sort of train him as the inside forward as well. His finishing's not too bad. We can do lots of training with him and stuff like that. But I, when I when he came up on the scouts, although he doesn't fit perfectly into my system, I was like, we've got to get hold of him. This kid is really, really good. So we, we stole him from Titus. Um, two grand, absolute bargain. Next up, we have Adrian Lesbagnard. Lesbagnard um, from Racing. I did try and sign um what's his what's his face? Burkic. Um he he didn't want to know. Um Smiggy Balls as well still doesn't want to know. So fuck them. Yeah, if they don't want to play in Europe. Well that's fine. Um he is a 31-year-old Belgian. No caps. Um surprisingly. But he's just a solid all rounder loads of experience, really good leader as well. He could become maybe not the captain, obviously. Um but uh, Dallas is captain, but maybe sort of vice captain or whatever. Can play as a centre back as well, but I mainly brought him in to be as that defensive midfielder. Really sort of solid uh, addition. Then we've got Dritro Kelmendi from Fola Esch, another really sort of solid youngster, just as a sort of fourth choice central midfielder, really. Um, not amazing, but it's good passing and vision's okay as well. So he can play as a deep line playmaker. And then we have Alexander Bitterman. We signed him previously. With like six months left to go. He's going to be our new... Well, he's going to battle for the first choice striker spot. Um, and he can also play as that inside forward as well. I think he's pretty, pretty good. He's got 10 and 25. So good good rating for the AI as well. Then we've got William Marquez. Another one from Victoria Rossport. Who's who we signed a while ago. Really solid. Another young Luxembourg centre-back, 14 under 21 caps. Pretty solid as well. Pacey as well, which is good for this high line that we've got. Um, and then we've got Jules Diallo. Diallo, Diallo. He's going to be our backup inside forward on that right-hand side, the 27-year-old Frenchman. And Mike, oh, Miguel, Michael Montiero, um, who is our new left-back option. Another Luxo as well. Picked him up on a freebie. He's been a solid performer in the... Uh, top division for a while so we've got a nice nice looking squad we've got rid of a couple of players and probably going to get rid of a couple more Lorenko's gone on loan to Viltz he he was um <clears throat> never really getting that many games he's we could maybe play him as a deep line playmaker um but he's not that great so I thought they came in for him I was like yeah go on then and Benjamin Lorenzo who was our backup striker last season he looks good but he was just two things he the games we played, he was terrible. Plus, 
every week he was one of he's just a lazy bastard and he was bottom of the training he was not improving in any way shape or form so i thought you know what fuck him because we got bitter man in and we mick, we kept mick jagger i did do a bit of scouting but nothing really improved so we gotta pick a team boys pick a team so sean in goal right back We've got, uh, I'm also trying to find another right back. That's the only thing I didn't have time to do before the stupidly early Europa League. So, but Fabian Fish is fine. Um, we've got Mastragello, um, who was on loan at Titus last season, was really solid for them. So I've decided to keep him, give him a chance uh, because, uh, you know, he's got a good name. He's wanted, dead or alive. Uh, we couldn't register all our players, Lafon and Zilli. Move uh, missed out, and sadly, but uh, she happens. Right, this obviously. Oh no! Wait, hang on. I always do that. Um, need to uh, fucking. Why is resizing columns in this game so fucking impossible? It's like a look. I just want to make this column on the left bigger. Not that one. There we go. And then you move one thing, and three other things move. Like, why is it? Just, I just don't know. Um, so, uh, Dashele and Bernadelli's going to start, but Marquez is going to get plenty of game time this season. Um, we've got Montiero as our left back, and we've got Mastraglero um, as our backup. And Agovic is obviously playing DM because he's a beast. We're going to give the old man some more time. He's, I reckon he's got another year in him. Right? Fleurivelli. I'm going to keep these two because they were both superb last season. So we only really needed backup for them. We've got Kel Mendy. We've got Joel Pedro as well. Um, on the left-hand side, it's... And then Yannick Bohr, obviously on the right-hand side. Bidderman or Mick Jagger. Let's have a compare, shall we? Go compare. Um, there we go. Very similar. So aerially, Mick Jagger comes out on top, but vision-wise, it's a little bit better on the ball. Bit of man. I think we'll just let them fight it out. We'll go with the experience. He knows the team, Mick Jagger, but bit of man is definitely going to get chances. That I'll let them fight out and decide who goes in. Right. Coolio, I'm just going to call him Coolio. Coolio, we call him Coolio. Nice. Right, Coolio is going to go on the bench. Uh, Joel Pedro, definitely. And then we've got Les Spagnard as um, the Spaniard. <laughs> He's not even, where's he from? He's Belgian, this is going to confuse him. Yeah. <clears throat> Any name that's remotely... Difficult to pronounce. Nickname. Yeah, it's my top tip for the day. Um, and we'll put Diallo then on the bench as well. We've got a decent little squad. We've definitely improved. Not drastically, but I don't think we needed a massive amount done. Right. Let's get ready. This is going to be tricky. It's the away leg first. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit scared after scouting. Squad numbers, auto number. Coolio loves a bit of number 14. Classic, classic Coolio. Oh. Right, 442. They've got a scary ginger at left back there. So that's bright ginger, isn't it? It's ginger! Okay. The pressure's not off. Um. Oh, shit. We're going to need it. It's never a good team talk. I read the good luck out there a bit, and I think, oh, yeah, that's a good option. And then we were going to be, oh, it's a packed crowd in Ireland. Here we go, boys. Take a draw. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to happen in this game, to be honest. So, yeah, so transfers-wise, all we need to do really is get, an, is get a, ideally a first-choice right back. Fabian Fish is fine. Hmm. Cummins just shot his load, and he... Oh, he celebrated in front of our fans as well. Fuck it, that's not on. Who are you, Scott Brown? Ten minutes gone. We've... Oh, it's a missed header from... Let me click on your face. Oh, Yannick Ball. He shouldn't be the one marking. Okay, 
tricky. Oh, by the way, the winners of this round get Frankfurt in the next qualifying round. So, yeah. Tricky. <laughs> oh, another set piece. Oh, fancy. Shepard. Ah, Mass Effect was shit, mate. The latest one, the others were good. That was late, latest one was shit. Hmm. Good possession. Yeah, good. Sums it up. Okay, what are we going to do? This is a proper highlight. Come on. If we can go in one nil, that's not too bad. But two starts to look a bit scary. McCormack's good ball. Back post. Shepard. Third goal of the season. Oh, they're still going. They've got a weird season. Okay. I was going to say, we've already played. This is the first game. Okay, we're 2-0 down at half time. We've been absolutely dominated. We need to do something, lads. I'm going aggressive. I'm, ass I'm assuming away goals count in this. I'm going to do something I don't normally do, but like we were miles behind here. Right, Coolio, he's right-footed, remember. So although he doesn't know this position, it's it's definitely not a bad thing. Um, but I'm going to go two up top. Bit of man's coming on. No, 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 no. Bit of man. Don't want to go double poacher. He's got... There we go. There we go. Stay positive. Keep the same system. Just have four in the middle. Bit more control, hopefully. Right, come on, boys. Actually, I kind of just want to make you full backs. We don't want to go crazy, Fabs. You go support. Counter attacking might be good, but we're 2 0 down. They're probably going to sit back a little bit more. It's sort of a job done. I just want to see an improvement, something to give me hope. Do we go attacking? Like, 3 0 down is a killer, isn't it? And they're going to score now, I've said that. I feel like if we go 3-0 down, the second leg is going to be nigh and impossible. So if we do go 3-0 down, I'm going to have to go attacking and go for this to try and get something. I think it's worth the gamble rather than just settling for a 3-0 defeat. Bolger. Morrissey. All right. Yeah, I'm at the playing for time. Playing for time. Bolger. McCormack, this is not looking good. Back to McCormack, the captain. Oh dear, taking a piss a little bit now. So another ball. <laughs> Fabian, Fabian Fish. It, it, it wasn't a massive mistake own goal. He was just trying to slide in. I feel like the goalkeeper, let's have a replay. I feel like the goalkeeper could have just caught it. Like it, it wasn't. Let's have a look. Oh, the goalkeeper's positioning is horrific. He takes so long to move. Like, right here, it's a clear goal. And he takes a touch, which I think is just showing off. And Fabian Fish just does, just had to go for it. I don't blame Fish there. But now we're fucking 3-0 down. This is not good. Right, fuck it. Let's go, boys. Coolio. Uh, yeah, you're on attack, mate. You're on attack. Hang on. No, he's right footed. Do we want him there? Okay, boys. <clears throat> 20 minutes left. Push forward. Come on, just, just one goal. Just one goal. Changes things. Oh, God. Winners. There we go. Here we go. Fleurival. Not seen anything of him this game. It's been very quiet. For oh, it's a good ball, though. Bit of man. Straight through the back of him. Straight through the back of him, referee. Hey? Fucking hell, are you sponsored by Guinness, referee, by any chance? Right, Coolio's going to take the corner. Oh, we're going for it now. Meh, cuts inside, Alvardi. Just make sure you don't lose it. There we go. Dashele, Dashele. <laughs> What's the worst cross in the world? Bless him. He panicked on the right wing. Oh, God. It's Tim Cahill, still playing football. Can't believe it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Bloody Carl Shepard again. Yeah. Seeing those scout reports kind of suggested this, this, uh, this, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Right then, lads. We did. We doubled our shots. We have had the same amount of clear-cut chances. Go on, Fleurval. This could be really important. Not massively important. All right, that's three shots though. So better second half. Okay, yeah, we would. Yeah, we would taught a lesson. I feel like there. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I agree with my assistant. I didn't get... Um, I've still got the same assistant manager because no assistant managers that we can afford will join us at the moment. So, still looking. Of course, you're satisfied with a big win. What a stupid thing to say. Um, <laughs> the question is now, do we come back for the second leg? I feel like there's not much point. But what if it's the most heroic performance I, I i think we're not going to come back for the second leg but what i will do is if i start playing it and let's say we score a couple of early goals i will then start recording an episode i think that's the best because otherwise we're just sitting here and i've got still got a ton of pre-season stuff to do and i don't i don't think it's going to happen but if the episode starts mid-game next episode you'll know why right there we go it was not too much to say, really. It's, it was a big ask. <clears throat> um, and, yeah. Yeah. I don't think the board are actually going to be happy because they wanted me to reach the second qualifying round. So, tough shit. Tough shit. But, on the on the good plus side, we've got 124 grand in the bank. Making good money at the moment. Um, our wages have only increased a little bit. So, less than 200 quid a week so far despite the despite the additions and stuff so monetarily wise we're doing bits i don't think i've finished my coaching course yet let me check uh, this takes forever for some reason on the journeyman i don't know what, what it has to check yeah so we're still doing our coaching course let's have a look at my profile still got some ones but we got some fours some, and a couple of fives snuck in there reputation is 10 percent. was it five percent last time um, we're, we're at half a star, even though we're the fifth best Luxembourg manager ever in Luxembourg. Uh, managing finances. <laughs> That's my uh, five years of accountancy coming in. Hands-on approach. Tactical consistency. Yeah, yeah. Not much loyalty or discipline. Media handling. Well, I don't know why that's media handling. I don't do media, but there you go. It's 47%. We're fluent in Let's Burgish. Yeah, that's that's the language. Right, <laughs> there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And maybe see you for Europa League, but probably the start of the league. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.